Daniel, I guess we'll start with the uh, weekend for your club. A big overtime win, but a 6-1 loss to the Belleville Senators. What would you see from the team this weekend? Uh, we been a hard-working team this weekend. Uh, like, we have done, done pretty good things, uh, but we don't get the, uh, the last thing to, to clutch. Uh, it's, it's been good. good uh, we got good, good momentum and good place but like I said it's the last the, the things that's just we're missing the, uh, the last things so how do you find that uh, when you're in a bit of a, a bit of a slide as the team how do you get back to where you were before uh, I would say like, just trust the process uh, we know that we can do it and like, just believe in ourselves and uh, trust the process uh, we're good as a whole as a team and we know that too. Uh, so yeah, just just trust the process. Well, you get a couple of days here of practice time before your next game. So how valuable is it to have these two days to prepare for the Marlies? Yeah, for sure, it's really important. Uh, especially now we come from a loss. Just take a breath, uh, come back, uh, do practice some things we need to improve, and then just. Go out and play. Uh, just hockey, and uh, uh, we know that we, we are a better team than, uh, uh, than we have been. So, yeah. Get your third goal of the season on Friday in Laval. Uh, how do you feel about your game right now? Uh, like right now, it's pretty good. Uh, I was in the in the stands down uh, the game before, so so it's nice to come back and uh, show what I'm going for. Obviously, you want to be in the lineup every night, but sometimes when you're when you get a chance to watch a game, can that actually help you? As you get a chance to kind of see how everything's unfolding? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I would say for me, it was like pretty good to just sit in the stands, watch the game, take a breath, uh, just do like to see the game from another from another view, uh, not just on a video, but like see it live, and uh, yeah. 